Hey everyone, TechnoMentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix Wi-Fi that's connected but no internet access on Windows 11. So let's get started. So the very first thing you want to do, if you haven't done this, just restart your computer and your router as well, both of the devices, and just try again. Now, if that didn't work for you, the next thing you are going to do is click on the Wi-Fi icon right here. And then from there on, you're going to go ahead here into your Wi-Fi and then right click here and you're going to forget it and then reconnect with your password again. And the reason why that is sometimes it could be an issue with the password. So just do that basic troubleshooting step. Now, let's say you did this and still not working. The next thing to also check out is that you are not basically having a firewall that's blocking you or any antivirus software if you have those. So if you have those, you want to make sure those are not blocking. It's kind of hard to tell, show you because depending on the version that you're using software, but know that could also interfere with it. Now, other thing you also want to look at in the setting here is proxy. So you're going to search for proxy settings right here, type in proxy and then proxy settings. And we want to make sure that if you use a proxy, you want to turn that off. Sometimes proxy will block internet. Uh, connection even though you're connected. So as you can see here, you want to turn that setting off. Now moving on to the next thing, if you're still having issue, is you're going to follow this step. First thing you're going to go into the search bar here, type in view network, basically view network connections. You're going to click on that. From here on, you can take a note of this Wi-Fi adapter that you have. This is a Wi-Fi 6 AX01 adapter. We'll need that later, but we're going to right click here and click on properties and then we're going to click on internet protocol version 4 and then we're going to click on properties here and here automatically IP should be uh, assigned automatically here on both but there is the chance that you might have to change this and then change and then enter these numbers where you select so you can do 8 and then go again type in 8 8 8 and then the next one alternative is 8 8 and then 4 4 so then you're going to select that which is the DNS for Google you're going to hit OK and then let that apply and that should go ahead and fix it for you now after that the next thing you want to go ahead and do is close out of this and then this time we're going to search for device manager so the search bar search up device manager here and from device manager here we're going to look for network adapters and then as you notice you find your wi-fi adapter here this is the intel wi-fi 6 one but yours will tell you in that view setting that we saw so usually in the view network connections we will see that same name that we're seeing and then we're going to look for that name right here so we're going to tap on this one and then right click click on properties and then once you click on properties here we're going to look for your driver and you're going to see if there's an update for the driver so you click on update driver if there is an update you're going to go ahead and update your driver so that's it following these steps should help you fix your wi-fi connections I hope the video is helpful, so please consider the like and subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.